So, Stephen King set out to scare people with this movie. Well, it did anything but. As a matter of fact, what the movie ended up being was an unintentional comedy. Stephen King was admittedly high on cocaine the entire time he was filming it. Stephen King cameo. One of the only really scary-ish things in this movie would have to be putting that face on a, a truck that delivers toys. Yeah, that's some rig, all right. I mean, how many kids would want to play with toys after seeing that truck delivering them? Okay, so here's the rundown. Gas pumps malfunction. I've heard that music before. An electric knife. There's that music again. Arcade games become deadly. Vending machines too, huh? Somehow, even the plumbing is affected. Let's not forget all the big bad trucks which come to life. Little dual reference. Yet for reasons best known to Stephen King and maybe God, the married couple's car never turns against them. In fact, the only automobiles affected are these old wrecks that couldn't hurt anyone. Emilio wastes no time establishing the fact that his character is a bit of a boss. Yeah, buddy, got the cojones to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a pissed-off Mack truck. What? One very interesting addition to the cast is Yerdley Smith. If you don't recognize that name, you will recognize the voice of Lisa Simpson. We gotta get some gas. Well, that's good, because I got to go to the lake. Can I come in and watch? No, you cannot come in and watch. <laughs> Seriously, you don't need a truck to chase you down. Why doesn't your car just come to life and run you head on into a concrete apartment or something? I mean, really. I really love hearing that voice saying things that Lisa never could. Other than that, she's kind of annoying. The Bible salesman with potty mouth cracks me up. Look how his attitude changes all of a sudden. Come on, it's an 18-wheeler in reverse. Bob and Weave, maybe? 
Fake. The fuck? Luckily, we got a Boy Scout here to translate, or else everybody would be screwed. Can't feel him anyway. Well, he ain't got no power. Don't forget, the machines are in control. One thing this movie definitely has going for it is the soundtrack. As a matter of fact, ACDC's album, Who Made Who, is the official soundtrack to this movie. What is moving this gun? For that matter, what pulls the trigger on it? Who who the fuck cares? Now when I say run, you run, okay? What you gonna do? Don't worry about it, just run, okay? What you gonna do, huh? That's a hell of a grenade. I can't do this. I'm just gonna keep the oh don't drop me now. I'm gonna have to devastate now. I just gotta keep doing the now. Of course their exit pisses the trucks off something terrible. But there's a diehard in every crowd 